How's it going, everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite. If you have the new Pocket Go, you probably noticed the borders around the Game Boy Advance emulators. With the current stock firmware, you cannot remove the borders. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the Game Boy Advance emulator for your new Pocket Go. So before I get started, I want to say thanks to Ashton for showing me how to do this on Instagram. He's a cool guy, and I'll leave a link to his page below. So in order to reinstall the Game Boy Advance emulator, you're going to need a second micro SD card. You're also going to need access to a Mac or a PC. So the first thing you want to do is insert your micro SD card into your computer and make sure that it's backed up because we're going to format it to fat. When you format your SD card, make sure you give it a name that you recognize because we're going to need to identify it later on to install the software. I'm on my Mac and to save time for this video, I'm just going to leave it named Untitled. After we format the micro SD card, we need to download the GBA emulator. So we're going to go to this web page here. Links are in the description and we're just going to search for REGBA. We're going to click download and once it's downloaded, we're going to move it to our desktop. Now that we have the emulator and our SD card mounted, we're just going to drag the emulator onto our SD card. Next, we're going to eject the SD card and then plug it into our new Pocket Go. Okay, so we have both of our SD cards inserted into the new Pocket Go. We're just going to power it on. We're going to scroll over to Applications and open Ding UX Commander. The left column represents the SD card with the operating system and all of the firmware. And the right column represents the micro SD card we just inserted into the Pocket Go with the REGBA emulator. So starting from the left SD card, which is our main SD card, we're going to back all the way out until we see a file called Media. We're going to click Media, then we're going to click Data, and then we're going to click Apps. If you scroll through this list, you'll see that these are all of the emulators built into the Pocket Go, and I've already removed the original GBA emulator on my device. From here, we're going to scroll over to the SD card on the right side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all the way back until we see media and then you should see the name of our SD card which is untitled we're going to click that and then you should see the REGBA 1.45.5 OPK from here you want to click X and then you want to click move to the apps folder on our main SD card so the emulator is now copied over and to back out we just hit the power and select button at the same time and if you scroll over to the right where it says emulators if you go down, you should see REGBA. Once we select the emulator, we can pick a game and start playing. I'm going to choose Advance Wars, and the game should boot up in full screen. Now, if you want to go back to the stock border, all you have to do is hit the power button go into display settings, and then scroll down to image scaling. You can use the D-pad to toggle through whichever aspect ratio you want. So you can go back to the borders, you can leave them on, you can have the uh, pocket go power, the aspect ratio is totally up to you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you remove the borders in the Game Boy Advance emulator on the new Pocket Go. If you have any questions about the new Pocket Go, Drop them down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them or point you in the right direction to get an answer. I do plan on making a video on how to install the Rogue software on the new Pocket Go. So if you want to see that and more content, hit the like button and subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.